So you've decided you want to build a classroom website. Or perhaps you have the makings of a site right now and you'd like to make it better. So you've taken this course, the paperless classroom. Here is what you're going to build. This is my classroom site, Mr. Barnes Virtual Language Arts class. With the subtitle, it's all just a mouse click away. Now believe me, that subtitle is very accurate because everything I want my students to see or do is truly all a mouse click away. Let's say I want them to begin with a weekly syllabus. We can start our week and I can say we are here on May 11th and we're doing a research project and uh, this gives you a snapshot of what we're going to do including homework. Now from there I may guide my students to our class activities page. This is where we will break down the daily activities. What's great about this site is I can put the date up very easily just by coming over and clicking my little edit button and then I can pull in any page or link that I have that already exists on the site. So for this last day of school I ask my students as I always do to write a letter to the next year's students. So they click here and here are their step-by-step -step directions. This is housed on my page index so I never have to recreate the wheel. It's always here. Next year when it gets to be the end of the year and I want to do class letter I click the C I come down to it and there it is and I can put it back on my activities page anytime I want to. Now I will constantly guide my students to class presentations. This is an ever-growing page of things we do in class, models, help sites, all of the things that I need my students to see and to visit regularly. So as you can see, they come down, it's in alphabetical order, and anything we've ever done is here creating a page on barnesclass.com for example a very helpful piece that I want my students to see. Uh, we do something called the holiday project so uh, they have to call places and ask if they can come and volunteer. I have a holiday project volunteer script and that script is here for them they can come to this page they can blow this up and they can use that script and that's always available for them on the presentations page. I have vocabulary lessons that they can go to anytime they want. I have interactive video that tells them how to do things. We spend a great deal of time here on rules for short answer and extended response writing. They come in and as you can hear in the background uh, my voice comes on for them. The class presentations page is a critical piece. Students like it. Parents love it. Now let's go back to our classroom lobby and see the cornerstone of the paperless classroom and that is the student website. Here's a model. Your students will be able to have something that looks like this. I've taken actual work, an actual website of a student, but I've just changed the name. So here we have William Penn's page. He brings this picture in. I give him a sense of autonomy. Anything you want, put it on there as long as it's appropriate. From there, he takes notes. He uses the site. At one point, he pastes a quiz in there. There's lots of things. Up here, he has links to other pages. Here's a project page. Click on it. He's built this page, remember. That opens up in a new window and here's a project that this student has done on a novel that he's read. Look at the beauty. Pictures, text, it's all there and I can go in, I can edit it, I can comment on it anytime I want. Best of all, it is paperless. This is the power of the paperless classroom. This is what you will create in a few short weeks. I think you're going to love it.